This is bodybuilding. <laughs> Gentlemen, it's been a while. Bodybuilding cooking, eye of round. But first, Chuck Sam! Y'all know how I do. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you guys how I turn this eye of round into tender, juicy, flavorful, mass produced, less time consuming, consuming bodybuilding cooking. Let's go. In order to alleviate the stress during the week of getting food, that's right, mass production. And you get this from uh, Costco. I'm gonna show you guys how to mass produce steak. I'm gonna have a long knife, short knife. So, got my long knife here, ready to start making little steaks, and then you're gonna trim them with the small knife. What I do is I just Cut them into pieces like this, all the way down. Now this process takes a while, it's time consuming, but you could either do this, or you can pay the butcher to do it, and I'm pretty sure food is already as expensive as it is, so if you have the time, you know, do it yourself. So I'll show you what I do. And anyways, so now I got the small knife here. I do just uh, call this the poke technique. Find a little piece, poke, and get it started. Now the interesting thing about this, hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing, is uh, I have this concept in my mind that this knife doesn't know how to cut fat. If you kind of think of that, you'll know that when, while you're kind of filleting it, it just doesn't cut the fat. It just, the fat stays on one side and the meat stays on the other side. And I'm just rolling it around, rolling it around, right? So, you can probably get the idea of what I'm going to be doing for the next, you know, half an hour, 45 minutes, however long it takes to do this getting rid of this right for all of this meat here all of that two steaks and the rest of that so I'll come back when I'm finished and I'll show you guys what I do after that alright so I got my uh, fat pile I'm gonna say that's about uh, yeah 30 percent meat maybe a little bit of wastage probably not each one of them has been cut you know right to the end got both sides and I'm just in the tenderization process all of these guys have been uh, tenderized and uh, what I've been doing is I've been using this tenderizing hammer got my last piece here and so what I do is I start off at the edge work my way up can't really get it all at once Give her a flip, and this so I'm going to cut all these up into little cubes after this, and afterwards this place is going to need a thorough cleaning. So if you've seen any of my videos before, you're going to realize there's nothing new here. I got uh, oxtail, basically went to the uh, Caribbean place where they get all the seasoning. Got some uh, chicken seasoning. This one's really good, my buddy left this and uh, tastes delicious. Ginger, I like to put that on my chicken. And uh, what's this one, jerk seasoning. So I think for the steak, I'm going to want to go with the oxtail and I'm going to start getting my marinade together. Well, since it's mass production, 
oversized pots that I would use for my chili as the marinade containers. So, uh, I'll do water in here. Good enough for me. Remember, you got to realize how much food you're cooking here, so that's why it looks a little excessive, but uh, in reality, when you actually cook it, by the time you use the George Foreman and a lot of that salt gets drained out during the cooking process, you're not really having it overly salty, but uh, it's, I don't think salt is the enemy. I never have really thought that salt is the enemy. So I have this one, ma this marinade made, that's uh, oxtail. Now I'm going to do the jerk seasoning. Well, this jerk seasoning smells pretty good. I'm just going to give it a little s sprinkle. That looks good. Okay. And uh, then I'm going to go back to town, cut these into little strips. Put them in there, cook them tomorrow. Oh, it's way off. 1700. Look at, uh, I'd say that's about. Mm -hmm. What do you have here? The George Foreman doing my thing. Time to stir it up. Where, oh where, is my spatula? Huh? Move the meat away from the hot spot. That's been cooked well. And push over the stuff that hasn't quite cooked. So you can try to keep everything uniform. Don't have to show you guys over and over this. But that's just what I'm doing. Ooh. A little bit of a mess there. And now, good time to turn on my other George Foreman. Oh, this guy's almost ready. I got the lesser cooked stuff in the middle. Bum. So making my meals piece by piece is very time consuming. So I do it in mass production. So I have more time to lift weights, more time to get ready for work, more time to do laundry and so on. And it's all about time management, guys. Manage your time, make your meals, keep pushing forward. Mm. Mm. Feathers. Hey, look, look, I'm getting feathers. I'm coming. You gotta look in the mirror. You gotta look in the light. You gotta look closely. Can you see it? Can you see it? I can't really count them yet, but they're coming.